Hey folks, the weekly review should be a key part of your productivity workflow. I like to do a weekly review every Sunday just to make sure I'm on top of my projects, that I know what's coming up, that I take a minute to think about what's important and what I have accomplished. So there's a whole host of benefits to doing the weekly review. Let me show you how I set up a weekly review project, a repeating project in Things 3 to make sure that I get to it every week. So. I normally would put my weekly review project under the health area, but for privacy reasons, I've just collapsed all my areas. I didn't feel like cleaning out my things three today. So I just created a new area for demonstration purposes. And I call it stress management. And that's actually pretty good. The reason that I normally put my weekly review under health, but stress management would be another good name for it, is because the weekly review really helps you feel calmer, more in control, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click new list and click new project, and we're just gonna call it weekly review. Okay, now there's going to be a bunch of steps to the weekly review, and I want you to create one task for each step. I'll tell you which steps I use and which steps that I recommend you use. You can customize this a little bit based on your unique situation. If you want to get um, a nice checklist of this, you can go download my weekly review cheat sheet as well. The link to that is in the description below the video. It's just a PDF with a nice checklist. Um, you might prefer that to doing it this way. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna process my things inbox. So throughout the week, I'm putting things into my task manager. When I quickly think of something, they're gonna end up into things inbox. So I just wanna have a task that says process my things inbox, which means I'm gonna go through those and just clean stuff up, um, check off what I've already done, delete what I don't wanna do anymore, move things into the right areas. The second thing is I'm gonna process my physical inbox. So I've got this physical inbox sitting, you can't see it, but sitting on my desk here. So if I got a, a letter from the government, from the tax agency or whatever, or something that I need to put away, sometimes I'll just chuck it in my physical inbox. So I deal with that during my weekly review. Next up is I'm gonna process my email inbox. So I just want you to create a task for all of these things, right? And processing my email inbox for me is a couple of things. I'll say uh, for each email reply or mark as reply later. Um, and I wanna check my screened out emails and I wanna check spam emails. So I do sometimes get legit emails that get put into spam and I'm using this email app called Hey over at hey.com, which is really nice. It lets me screen out emails so people I don't wanna hear from, you can give them a thumbs down, you don't hear from them anymore. Um, I do like to check every now and then that I don't have things in there, emails that got screened out that I actually do wanna see. Okay, so we're just creating tasks for each of these steps. The next thing that I wanna do is I wanna review um, each project and area. So what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna go through all of my areas and the projects inside those areas, make sure every task that's in there is still something that I want to do, make sure that everything that has a deadline or should have a deadline has the right deadline, et cetera, et cetera. Now the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, um, check what's coming up this week. So what I'll do is I'll use the upcoming view in Things 3, and I'll also look at my calendar just to see what are my events that I've got scheduled this week, which deadlines are coming up this week, which tasks that I already scheduled ahead of time that I said I was gonna work on this week. Um, next thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to schedule tasks ahead of time, and I'm gonna put a question mark because I don't always do this, but sometimes I do like to schedule tasks ahead of time. So let's say I noticed that I've got a task coming up that's like um, send a certain letter by Thursday, right? Maybe, or, or better uh, example is sometimes I have to like file a VAT return to the government, a value added tax return. Let's say I have to do it by Friday. I might schedule that task for Tuesday just to make sure that I get it done ahead of time and that I'm not doing it like last minute, right? Um, and another thing that I like to do is I just like to um, review um, what I've completed this past week, um, just to get a sense of like, hey, how productive was my past week? What have I been doing? Remind myself of the nice accomplishments that I had. Um, and that's the basics. Now, you can customize this. Um, so maybe you're working in a team environment where you've got some team communication tool where there's an inbox. So you may want to create a task that says, process my team collaboration tool inbox, right? So you, it's the same thing as processing your things inbox, but just on a team basis. I wouldn't recommend putting tasks like water the plants in here. That may also be something that you wanna do every week, but I wouldn't recommend putting that in your weekly review because it's not related to you know, staying on top of your task. It's not related to having that sense of, ha, huh, I know what I need to do. 
I'm, I'm in control. I'm in charge of things, right? So uh, there may be many other things that you want to do periodically, but don't make them part of the weekly review. The weekly review is really for you to feel like I know what I'm doing or what I should be doing. You know, I know what my priorities are. That's really the idea. Okay, so the next thing um, is we're gonna go and we're gonna make this a repeating project. So just click repeat. It's pretty easy. Um, now you've got two options here. You can either repeat it one week after the previous item is checked off, or you can actually repeat it weekly, okay? So what I do is I set it to repeat every Sunday, okay? And to me, uh, let's say, you know, I don't get to my weekly review today. Today I'm recording, this is a Sunday, okay? Maybe I'll get to it tomorrow. I still want my weekly review to show up next Sunday just because it's kind of become a habit for me to do it on Sundays. I mean, occasionally I don't get around to it on Sunday, um, but then I'll do it Monday, you know? And, and I want to sh have it sh keep showing up on Sunday just because that's the rhythm that I have. However, um, you know, when you're first establishing this habit, maybe this is not the right, right choice for you. If you're not yet used to doing a weekly review, you might want to say, you know what, I'm just going to do it one week um, after I complete the previous weekly review. So let's say you don't get to it until Wednesday, then you can say, you know what, it doesn't really make sense to do it again on Sunday, I'll wait until next Wednesday. That's an option for you. I, you know, I want you to keep that in mind. Think about which of those two options is going to help you the most in actually completing your weekly reviews. I find that getting in a rhythm is the easiest way to make time for it, but you know, up to you. Um, so it's really easy, just set it to repeat weekly, repeat every week on Sunday, that's it. I don't like to set any reminders. Uh, reminders in this case just means notifications. I'm get, I get enough notifications already. Um, I'm not gonna set a deadline. Deadlines really are meant for when there's a serious negative consequence, if you don't do something by a very specific time or day, right? And so, you know, all tasks have consequences if you don't do them, right? So if you don't do your weekly review over time, your system is gonna start breaking down, your things three is gonna be out of alignment with reality, lots of bad things. But nothing bad is gonna happen at a specific moment. So a deadline is not the right tool to use here, right? A deadline is something like, if I don't pay the government by a certain day for my tax return, you know, if I don't send them the money, um, they're gonna find me, something like that, right? There's a very sharp deadline with a consequence. So I'm just gonna leave it like this and just say, okay, now what happens? Um, I've got my weekly review project sitting right here. And if I go to the area, you'll see that there's also a weekly review scheduled from a week for a week from today. That's really it. Super easy. Um, I recommend setting this up so that you're reminded to do your weekly review every week. I recommend doing them on Sundays or some other day when really I recommend doing them whenever you think that you're most likely to get to it. For a lot of people, that's Sunday because during the week they're busy, they're in the middle of things. Um, but set it up like this. Let me know if you've got any questions about the weekly review. If you want to learn a whole system um, for Things 3 that's built around Things 3 for being more organized, being more productive, you might wanna check out my course. It's called Get Organized um, with Things 3. So the link to that is in the description below the video as well. Check it out. Um, we'll talk about the weekly review there as well. Um, but you really learn an entire system for setting things up. Hey, so uh, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you leave a comment and tell me, tell me what you thought of it suggest future um, topics that I could create videos on, on Things 3, OmniFocus, other productivity task management related things. Just let me know. And in the meantime, um, I hope you have a wonderful day.